I want to buy a car with my signature. I want to buy a car with my signature. My signature. My signature. Have you ever wondered how those people do it? Well, let's take a look and see. Oh, my arms hurt. It's hard to lift. I got in an accident. I was not at fault. I was just driving straight home. And some truck comes right out. Boom! Of course, he didn't see me because there was another big truck right here. And he wanted to hurry up and get home. And my little Kia just crashed right in front of it. And my body hurts. I got bruises everywhere. Except my face, thank God. But there are other places. You know, right right where the seatbelt is. And especially right here where the seatbelt was. And then that airbag good thing my seat was reclined a little bit because <laughs> and it's a good thing I wasn't wearing glasses while I was driving because then they probably would have you know hurt me but thank you lord for those angels protecting and keeping us safe so um my friend sent me Let's see, how do you share the screen? My friend sent me this in a little meme. Let me try to make it bigger. Let me see if I can, yeah. This is a little tiny, it's not real long, but we can look at it. Um, apparently there's these codes for the US United States, Washington, and they mean stuff like commerce and trade. Look at that, Title 15, commerce and trade. And then you can look at Chapter 41, consumer credit protection, subchapter one, or I, one, I think it's a Roman I, consumer credit cost (gasps) disclosure. Consumer, that would be us who consumes credit cost. It's going to cost you for your credit disclosure. We should read that. Part C, credit advertising and limits on credit card fees. Oh, Mm, let's read this, what it says. 15 U.S. Code, subsection 1662. Advertising of down payments and installments. Okay. There's a couple of ways that people can get another car or get a new car or something. And I've done, I've done a lot of car buying in my half a century old lifestyle. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. You can buy a brand new car and then you drive it off the lot and you can get a loan for high interest or low interest, which is the better way. Or you can buy a used car. You could be given a car. Um, You can inherit a car. Same as given. Uh, You can buy a car from another person. Buy a car from the dealership. Buy a car from online, Carvana. There's a whole bunch of ways to buy cars. Just like there's a whole bunch of ways to buy houses. But let's take a look and see what this says. Advertising of down payments and installments. No advertisement to aid, promote, or assist directly or indirectly any Extension of consumer credit may state, number one, that a specific periodic consumer credit amount or installment amount can be arranged unless the creditor, let's look at what creditor says. Let's see what that is. What do they mean? Is it going to go? Creditor, here we go. G. The term creditor refers only to a person who both, number one, regularly extends, 
regularly extends, whether in connection with <clears throat> loans, sales of property or services, or otherwise consumer credit, which is payable by agreement in more than four installments, or for which the payment of a finance charge is or may be required. And two, is the person to whom the debt arising from the consumer credit transaction is initially payable on the face of the evidence of indebtedness or if there is no such evidence of indebtedness by agreement. Notwithstanding the preceding sentence, that preceding sentence, the sentence that came back in front of it right here, in the case of an open-end credit plan involving a credit card, the card issuer and any person who honors the credit card and offers a discount, which is a finance charge, are creditors. Creditors? Creditors. For the purpose of the requirements imposed under Part D of this subchapter in Section 1637A5 and 1637A6 and 1637A7 and 1637B1, 1637B2, 1637B3, 1637B8. There was a skip there. And 16, oh, what did I say? 1637, was I saying the wrong number? 1637, B10. Of this title, the term creditor shall also include card issuers. Mm, card issuers. Whether or not the amount due is payable by agreement in more than four installments or the payment of a finance charge is or may be required and the bureau the bureau shall by regulation apply these requirements to such card issuers to the extent appropriate even though the requirements are by their terms applicable only to creditors offering open-end credit plans. Any person who originates two or more mortgages referred to in subsection AA in any 12-month period or any person who originates one or more such mortgages through a mortgage broker shall be considered to be a creditor for purposes of this subchapter. The term creditor includes a private educational lender. Hmm. As that term is defined in section 1650 of this title for purposes of this subchapter. So we can, you know, if you didn't get it, you can listen to it again on this video. So I don't have to reread it. Sometimes when I'm reading, doesn't always mean that I am comprehending or getting it because so much legalese is in there. It gets confusing and I don't necessarily want to misinterpret. So I don't give my two cents because I don't want to say the wrong thing, you know? So let's see. <coughs> Unless the creditor usually and customarily arranges credit payments or installments for that period and in that amount. Number two, that a specified down payment, oh, this is where Eon would say, pay attention, pay attention. 
I like Eon. He's funny. The specified down payment is required in connection with any extension of consumer credit unless the creditor usually and customarily arranges down payments in that amount. So write down in the comment section any questions and whoever knows the answer, put the answer, please. Let's go here. Let's just click on this because it's red. Let's see what's what it says. Uh, I don't know what that is. Federal digital system. Publication. Link to this page, Cornell, Rio citation, read it online. Oh, read it online. That's Rio. Okay. You want to go to Rio? Read it online. Uh, you guys can easily Google 15 U.S. code subsection 1662. <coughs> Let me go next. I didn't bring my drinky. I'm gonna have to open one of these loud paper things. Next, let's just see what's next. Hey, okay, here's 15 US code 1663. Advertising of open end credit plans. Oh, cool. Now we'll find out what open end credit plans mean. Maybe. No advertisement to aid, promote, or assist directly or indirectly. <coughs> Excuse me. The extension oh, of consumer credit mm. under an open-end credit plan may set forth any of the specific terms of that plan, unless it also clearly and conspicuously sets forth all of the following items. One, any minimum or fixed amount which could be imposed. Two, in any case in which periodic rates may be used to compute the finance charge, the periodic rates expressed as annual percentage rates. Three, any other term that the Bureau may be regulation require, may by regulation require to be disclosed. Hmm. Advertising of open-end credit plans. No advertisement to aid promote or assist directly or indirectly the extension of consumer credit under an open-end credit plan may set forth any of the specific terms of that plan unless it also clearly and conspicuously sets forth all of the following items. So it looks to me like all these things right here, one, two, three, have to be um, easily uh, set forth so that you can see all this stuff right here. Otherwise, they can't do this stuff. So no advertisement. Hey, we're going to help you out. Blah, blah, blah. Come on in. Get your car. Promote or assist directly or indirectly the extension of consumer credit. If you have bad credit, we can help you, blah, blah, blah. So they want you to have this stuff right here. Any minimum or fixed amount which could be imposed. Hmm. I'm going to have to look up the word imposed. I know it sounds silly to look up that word. 
but I want to see exactly what they're talking about. Like it's demanded or you have to put down this minimum amount or fixed amount. So it's, it's a verb, imposed, past tense, imposed, participle. Force, yeah. Force something unwelcome or unfamiliar to be accepted or to put in place. Forcibly put a restriction in place. Require a duty, charge, or penalty to be undertaken or paid. Mm. So when you go to buy a car and they're offering you a loan, a loan for 12%, <laughs> or they have a special loan for 599, 5.99%. Then they go, hey, um, you want to put any money down? So I've heard them say that, and I've done that. So right here, it looks to me like uh, you shouldn't be doing that. Let me see. No advertisement to aid, promote, or assist directly or indirectly the extension of consumer credit. Oh, yeah, because we want to buy your car with your signature. Uh, consumer credit, you want to use your credit. Just use your credit. Don't put any money down. Under an open-end credit plan may set forth any of the specific terms of that plan unless it also clearly and conspicuously right in your face sets forth all of the following items any minimum or fixed amount which could be forced upon you hmm. oh, okay Oh, I got you. Oh, in any case, in which periodic rates may be used to compute the finance charge. What are they saying here about this thing? Advertising of open end credit plans. Oh, okay, so it's open over here and open over there. So they're just kind of like, you know, like, here's the plan right here, but then they're going to open it up over here and go, hey, you want to put some money down? And you want to stretch out your loan way over here? Okay, I think that's what that is. So that number one says any minimum or fixed amount which could be forced upon you or imposed. And two is in any case in which periodic rates may be used to compute the finance charge. I hate it when they start showing all that periodic rate stuff. The periodic rates expressed as annual percentage rate. Any other term that the Bureau, the Bureau may by regulation require to be disclosed. Any other term that the Bureau may be made by regulation require to be disclosed. You know, sometimes when I read these things, it reminds me of those people who write the technical directions of how to build stuff. And you can take it either way. Is this good? Is that bad? Is it good? Is it bad? What, what piece is this? Oh, show me a picture. That's what we need is a chart, man. We need like a chart, you know, like um, one of those... Um, you know, like those genealogy trees, like a genogram. How many marriages? How many divorces? How many abortions? How many births? How many, you know, crazy deaths and this and that? If we just could see it all, like in a genogram, we could go, oh, that's why that person's like that. Okay, I get it. Came from all these people over there. And they have that. But like this kind of stuff would be good. If we could get a Prezi presentation and maybe put all of the negative conditions and the little tricks and the twists, because I think right here, this is a code that they're doing to let people know when you're in commerce and in trade, 
there's certain rules to war here. If you're going to advertise of these open end credit plans, no advertisement. I guess they won't be putting it in the newspaper to aid, promote, or assist directly or indirectly the extension of consumer credit. Oh, okay. Like you don't have enough points. So let's figure out something, you know, more creative. You want to put some money down because you don't quite make it. You could get that car. If you put $5,000 down, then, you know, you have enough points for your credit to do it. So that's probably what they're doing. I don't know. I, that's what I've heard before. I mean, when I've gone to buy stuff, that's what they always say. Oh, looks like your credit score went down when we just dinged it. <laughs> but that was when I was doing that. And then they always ask you for that social security number, which is not ours. It belongs to the government who has the all caps name. So it's not ours. They always ask us, what is it? And when I was in the military, that was the first thing when you're in the, um, you have to go through this gas chamber. Oh my God. They want, they're telling us, we want you to know how this gas mask works. We want you to trust in it. So we're going to ask you to lift it off in the gas chamber. Yeah, we were in the gas chamber when they were letting out gas and it wasn't the butt kind of gas. It was some other kind of gas. As soon as you lift up your gas mask, you got to say your social security name, number, your name, your rank, and your social security number. You got to say it really fast. Blah, 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 and you have to memorize it. How's that for like, uh, what's the word? Imposing abuse <laughs> and forcing the social security number and your name in all caps. Oh, I just hurt myself. I got a bruise right here. Seatbelt. But anyways, um, we did understand that that mask did protect us from, as soon as you lift that up, all everything starts running. But it's kind of weird that they like <laughs> torturing you you know, for training, saying your social security number. So when you go to these places, the first thing they go is, let's check your credit. Can you tell us your social security number? Well, the last place I went to in March of last year, when they had the pandemic going on, I think that was in 2020. That's what they said when I was checking out cars. And I said, don't you understand that's a federal offense? to compel me of the social security number? They're like, well, we didn't think that you were gonna be our client anyways. Get out of here, lady. <laughs> but they check your insurance. They check your driver's license. They check all these things they wanna see in your credit and all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna be kind of interesting when and if I, I, gotta, I gotta go, I gotta get a car somehow. I have a few selections I could do. I could go on Facebook Marketplace and get crappy cars that have high mileage and they want a lot for it and it could break down the next week. Pay cash or whatever. Monopoly money. Or I could go to Carvana, like some people, and then they get inside of a contract. And I don't know how some of them do it, but they like, oh, we want to cancel this contract in three days. Boom. I'm like, don't you really want the car? But I guess that's how they get the car. I don't know. I guess that's how they get the car. I don't know. And then they got to hide it maybe because someone's going to come and try to get it. That's another way. <laughs> I don't think I want to do that. Or the other way it could be to do go to the CFO and do international bills of exchange, which that's something that we could look into. But let me just look here really quick. Notes. Publication. 
111-203, Substituted Bureau for Board, 1980, Publication L96. An existing introductory text struck out applicability of rate determined under Section 1637A5 of this title and amended section generally substituting items setting forth minimum or fixed amount, etc., out in pars one to three for items, time period, etc., set out in parts. I don't know what parts is. Parts? Amendment. Effective. Effective date of 2010 amendment. Effective on the designated transfer date. Uh, set out a note under Section 552A of Title V, Government, Organization, and Employees. That sounds interesting. Are you a government organization? Are you an employee of the government? Here's another one. This is another amendment, effective date of 1980, amendment by publication effective on expiration of two years and six months after March 31st, 1980, with all regulations, forms, and clauses required to be prescribed to be promulgated at least one year prior to such effective date and allowing any creditor to comply with any amendments in accordance with the regulations, forms, and clauses prescribed by the board, which was the bureau, Oh, look, <laughs> it used to be called the board, but now they change it to bureau prior to such effective date. Set out as a note under section 1602 of this title. So you guys can go on these titles and read them for yourself. And I just thought I would bring that up and we'll see another time. What else we'll find out? I hope that this was helpful. Good night.